up? It's Evan, back again with Band of the Week, this time with Hey Monday. All right, now you guys just got off a huge tour with Metro Station and Fall Out Boy. What was that like? It's pretty crazy. It was uh, surreal. It was pretty much the biggest thing we've ever done, and um, it was awesome. We made some really amazing friendships, and we learned a ton on that tour from everyone. Okay. Now, you guys went from being an opening act to now a headlining tour. How do you guys think you managed to pull that off? I think it's just like our time to kind of test ourselves and see how far we've come because we've been touring since September. So, it, like, I think, I mean, it's definitely a quick transition, but we were ready for it. And um, it's like a little test to see if, you know, we can do things like this in the future. Okay. Now, did you guys ever imagine you'd become this popular? I was hoping uh, that we would get a. Uh at least it's popular, <laughs> but it's so surreal, like, s we played our first sold out show last night, Yeah. and I'm still kind of like in shock that it was actually sold out. Yeah, the whole night out. he was like, guys, tonight was sold out, and we're like, yeah, it's pretty insane, but he just kept saying it over I, and over. I've been saying it all day today, too, I, I don't know, it's just crazy. It is, it's crazy. And now, what did you guys do before you joined the band? Oh, we all played in different bands, yeah. either, either with each other, or like we toured with each other, or played with each other at some point. But that's pretty much what started this band, is all, all our other bands broke up. Okay. I worked at Pen Ever Bread. Pen Ever Ever Bread. So, what kind of led you to form the band? Were you just tight friends and yeah, um, wanted to I, keep playing? Yeah, that's exactly it. Like, we have always been friends, and uh, like through the local band scene, or we've played in bands together, or like I went to high school with Alex, and Elliot has played in a band with pretty much all of us before. and. Um, but yeah, like all our other bands broke up, and we just we still wanted to play music instead of going to college, and we ended up doing this um, with each other. But um, but yeah, like I, I think that we all were fans of each other's bands, and we all like kind of w would watch each other and be like, wow, like you know, it's a really good guitarist or drummer, or bassist or guitarist, and. And we just kind of like Mike and I were already in the band together, and that band broke up. So we kind of just like thought about it, and we're like thinking of the best musicians in these bands that maybe we could pick up. And we were like, "Hey, you want to be in a band with us? Because we know your band's breaking up and going to college and stuff. And how about we just keep playing music?" So it worked out really well. Now your song "Homecoming" was a huge hit in Japan. You got to go over there and play. What were the crowds like over there? Were they as crazy as they are here? Yeah, they were like. <laughs> It's, it's pretty unreal, like you hear a lot about it, but you don't know what it's really like until you're there and you're playing in front of a couple of hundred or a couple of thousand kids and all of them are just going like, Eight on a scale of one to ten, they're going like at a twelve, like the entire time during the song and then in between the song it's like super quiet, so you feel weird and a lot of times they can't understand what you're saying. Cause like you're speaking English and not. Yeah. You it's know. like it's not it's not really like awkward for them though, cause it's it's just them being polite. You know, yeah. they're just like, yeah. you know, freaking out, and then they stop and just like wait for the next song. It's 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 awesome. And then they like chant like really weird beats. They go hey yeah. hey hey, and like <laughs> kind of beats that don't make sense, but it's sick. It's they're awesome. They're just like so happy to like be there and like see your band and like if they get the chance to meet you, they're like just so like stoked to like be there and it's like it's an awesome experience playing a show in Japan. Now while there did you guys get to do anything like tourist stuff other than playing shows you know? Yeah we went to um, the shrine. Uh, we went to we all dressed up in, in kimono. Komodo or komodo? Komodos. Oh wait you're a kimono. I'm a kimono they were kimono. Komodos. And um, no it's just, <laughs> they can't hear you. Um, and we went to this festival, uh, Japanese festival, and uh, we were the only Americans there, and also the only people dressed up. So it was kind of funny, and um, they were like following us around because they're gonna air that on TV for like a summer TV um, like thing, and they would tell us to go to certain vendors and buy stuff, and it was really cool. And then we went to the shrine where we had to, um, you had to throw like, a penny into this kind of like well and you would clap twice and then you'd make a wish and uh, that was pretty sweet. Um, I, I won fish and I set them free in the river. Okay, you're gonna have to do a little bit more than I won fish. I won fish. <laughs> no, okay, so they had this, this thing, it was like this like tub full of water and they give you this hoop with like paper, it's like thin paper 
you have to scoop the fish into a bowl that's floating in the water. Uh -huh. And I want fish and set them free in the river. You have to do it without breaking the paper, of uh, course. It's, it's difficult. Yeah, that, it's that's hard. The, it was really thin paper, so the fish would kind of fall through it, mm -hmm. or if you didn't do it right or quick enough, like, it made a hole. Did you guys ride the bullet train at all? Yeah. Oh. Last time, oh yeah, we did this time. It was, oh, I love the bullet the train. The thing's intense. Yeah. So and we cool. got to sit um, business, business class, class this time. <laughs> so sick. Yeah, just chilling. <laughs> so sick. All right, um, do you guys have any more singles planned for Hold On Tight? Yes, right now it's whole, uh, How You Love Me Now, and then after that we're planning on releasing, uh, depending on how this single goes, um, we'll probably release Candles. All right, now Hold On Tight came out last fall. Have you started work on a new album yet? Yeah, actually. We um, we don't plan on like coming out with a new album for at least another year, so we're just, we just love to write and to keep that ball rolling. Um, but yeah, yeah, we've already started, and just like garage band demos, nothing really um, produced or anything like that. Okay. Now this is a question for Cassidy. Something every guy wants to know. What's your type of guy? Uh, um, so definitely a guy with a sense of humor. I have to laugh. Um, someone who I think I, I don't think I'd be able to date someone who's like at home. I'd have to date someone who's like out on the road and touring also because it'd be really hard for that person other person to understand if they're not doing the same thing and someone who's honest who's caring and good looking classic good looks maybe <laughs> and I, 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 I dig tattoos so <laughs> that's a plus I guess all right uh, what is your favorite song to perform live I, I, uh, yeah, I like playing how you love me now the most okay. uh, but it changes uh, about every 24 hours. <laughs> okay. I like to play Josie. I think my my favorite is Homecoming currently. Should have tried harder right now. Obvious. Okay. Ooh, it's like I our whole album. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first time we've ever said that. <laughs> okay. Um, now, uh, when you guys leave venues, do you ever get crazy fans that follow you? No, well, not really. Like when we go to eat. Yeah, like yeah. like if we're walking somewhere to go to get food, sometimes they'll follow. But it's kind of hard to follow like in a bus, and like we don't really, I don't know, we don't stop that much, yeah. like for gas, like you would like in a van. I mean, and when we were in a van, nobody knew us, so we didn't really have any followers. <laughs> so. All right, what's your favorite fast food? In and Out Burger. We don't have those in Florida, but we're blessed with them in California. Yeah. I think mine too, or it's between in and out and it's honestly KFC. I love KFC. I'm gonna have to. I, in and out is great, but if we want to go classic on this one, I'm gonna have to go McDonald's chicken nuggets with ranch dressing. Okay. What, what was uh, Spangles? Oh, Spangles. Oh, that's, so yeah. good. that's not fast food. Oh, yeah, it well, kind of was, dude. Yeah, it was. It's the fastest well, food I've ever had. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> my toes made of metal and stuff. My favorite fast food. I don't know. This is a hard one. Uh, maybe Jack in the Box. Yeah, Jack, oh, yeah. Jack in the Box is a nice variety of things, so maybe that. It's a good choice. Yeah. I, I, we haven't even seen those in a while. There's, There's one, one like right, right, right around here. Yeah. There's uh, one uh, 10 feet away. I don't know. Dinner? <laughs> if, if you can see over the fence, it's right there. Yeah. I want to go there. Right We're too short. All right. Um, What's your favorite store to go shopping in? Um, Top Shop. Even though it's, it kills me every time because every the shirt's like a hundred bucks, but Top Shop. Uh, I'm gonna go with American Apparel. I, I'd agree with the. I, you know, I'm gonna combine the two. I, I don't have a favorite. Can I add Target too? <laughs> go for it. Target. I like uh, Walmart and Metro Park. Okay. Um, top top man is pretty sweet. Sometimes you can get great buys even at like uh, Goodwill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's it's just all luck of the draw. It just yeah. depends on where you go. You'll find an occasional armpit hair or something in there. Oh. It's all good. <laughs> all right. <laughs> now, uh, what is the top played song on your iPod? Duffel Bag Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? As of, yeah, this week. Uh, bag boy. <laughs> what is, I don't even know what that is. By who? Oh, oh. oh. Playa Circle. I'm really into this band, Yumi at Six, and 
Um, their song I'll Run, is, I think, is awesome. Um, to, to second that UK um, mention, I've been listening to uh, Kids in Glass Houses a lot. Uh, between two songs, uh, Easy Tiger and Lovely Bones. Um, Madonna and Lil Wayne have a song coming out this summer called Revolver, and it's so probably good. like the most played song right now on our bus. Bang, bang. Yeah. So good. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay. And, uh, I'm, man, I'm so bad with these, like, spur of the moment things because I have no idea. I don't know what the most played song on my iPod is. <laughs> probably, um... Biscuit or something? Yeah, probably Nookie by Limp Biscuit. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what is your biggest pet peeve? I know. Oh. Well, not really a pet... Well, yeah, I guess it is a pet peeve. Um, just, I hate crossing roads. Like, right now, like... Uh, he decided hate, that yesterday, I hate actually. crossing roads at, like, intersections. Yeah, Because scary. it's so much harder at an intersection than it is, like, you cross right here, you know? Um, I think mine is... Uh, I'm not going to mention any names, but someone in this band has very, very gross eating habits. And when he eats, he eats like, and then when he needs to clean his fingers, he goes. So I think that's probably Who's really that? that's weird, right? Who is yeah. that? Hmm. Hey, listen, I'll, that? I'll drop. I'll drop a name. Elliot, when he walks through the bunk area, doesn't say excuse me, doesn't say he's sorry. He just. Yeah, and you basically crazy. sit there on your butt after he knocked you over, going, "Hey, thanks." But hey. it's weird because I don't think he notices. Because when I we're, don't think he does either. When we're like, dude, when we're like, dude, you just like knocked me, and he's like, "Oh, I'm sorry." Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's just he. It's not. Uh, it's like a cat without whiskers. Hey, bumping I'm into really things. curious. What, what's your pet peeve, Elliot? I have none. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's kind of a tie right now between. Um, poor like eating habits like chewing chips or crunching on something with your mouth open that just really grinds my gears yes and something else that really bugs me is um in the mornings I have the bunk that's in the back by the back lounge and it's right by the door so people will be like walking through or whatever and they'll open the back door and then slam it <laughs> and it slams right next to my head and people go in and out all morning doing that, and it just really, like... Grind your gears. I want to, like, when I hear the door open, I just want to stick my hand out with a knife to whoever walk, walks right. <laughs> now I know if they just crouch me. when a... <laughs> what, what if he did that? <laughs> I you were gonna say be I'm just going to wear armor on the yeah. bus from now on. That only happened Protect once. me from I'm Elliot and really Mike. Can you just get your own bus now? Now I'm, now I'm scared for my life. <laughs> All right. What is the weirdest or most inappropriate thing anyone has ever asked you to sign? To sign? Yeah, to sign. I've signed uh, an ass cheek. I signed a boob. Yeah, boob. I, I mean, yeah, boobs. 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 What's boobs. this part called? Yeah. Why is that inappropriate? That's that just kind of weird, dude. Honestly. It's like a weenus, but. Yeah, it's the opposite of a weenus. Uh. Leanus. Leanus? Okay. You're leanus, leanus. Leanus on your leanus. <laughs> I bet that's gonna be your new nickname. You're gonna get bracelets to say Linus. Yeah. Yeah. The weirdest oh, place I, a dude asked me one time to sign his butt, and that was kind of weird. Yeah. I've signed an eyeball before. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That'd be crazy. Is, is that possible? Yeah. Why not? Uh, oh, I signed someone's teeth one time. Anything's ah. possible. Another one. I, yeah. I don't know how that happened. How yeah, is that possible? I'll weird. show you. Yeah. Just kidding. You would. Uh, I would never put my okay. hands near Elliot's mouth. <laughs> Willingly. All right. Uh, one last thing. Is there anything you guys would like to say to your fans? Thank you very much for all your support. We can't believe that we're headlining a tour, and we can't believe that you guys are actually coming. So thank you so much for, for listening to us and for um, buying our record, for doing whatever you've done to help our band. We really appreciate it, and we love you guys. We love you. Mwah. Arigato. Uh, <laughs> all right. Thank you guys very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm Cassidy. I'm Jersey. I'm Elliot. And I'm Mike. And we're Hey Monday, BVTV Rock!